Hello everyone. Welcome to in 5 minutes. We solve another sum based on this concept. The question is determine the Fourier series representation of following discrete time signal and sketch the frequency spectrum. Given here is x of n. We can see that the three samples that are 1, 2 and minus -3 are repeating again and again. So we can say that x of n is periodic and therefore the period that is n is equal to 3 so the fundamental frequency omega not is equal to 2 pi by n that is 2 pi by 3 now considering only one period that is x of n is equal to 1 comma 2 comma minus 3 we solve that is we find out the fourier coefficients it is given by the general formula so we directly substitute the values in it so ck is given by 1 by 3 sigma n is equal to 0 to 2 x of n e raised to minus j 2 pi k n by 3 expanding this term we get the final result as 1 by 3 1 plus 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi k by 3 minus 3 e raised to minus j 4 pi k by 3 here as the period is 3 the k will vary from 0 to 2 so again we substitute these values so the c0 comes out to be 1 by 3 1 plus 2 minus 3 that is 0 for k is equal to 1 that is c1 is equal to 1 by 3 1 plus 2 e raised to minus j 2 pi by 3 minus 3 e raised to minus j 4 pi by 3 now we are going to expand these two terms on the concept of e raised to minus j theta that is cos theta minus j sin theta after expanding accordingly we get this after this substituting each value that is cos 2 pi by 3 sin 2 pi by 3 cos 4 pi by 3 and sin 4 pi by 3 we get the final value further solving we get 1 by 3 into bracket 3 by 2 Minus j phi root three by two. Simplifying again, we get half minus j phi root three by six. That is half minus j one point four four three. Now, as the question also states, to sketch the frequency spectrum, we should convert this value into the polar coordinate system. That is one point five two seven angle minus one point two four. radians but we need to plot this in exponential form so it it should give 1.527 angle minus 0.395 into pi remember this should be a multiple of phi this can be easily obtained as 1.24 divided by pi into pi that results into 0.395 into pi so after this we can write this as 1.527 e raised to minus 0.395 pi for solving k is equal to 2 we get the final answer as c2 is equal to 1.527 e raised to j 0.395 pi the finally the fourier series representation is using the formula x of n sigma k is equal to 0 n minus 1 ck e raised to j 2 pi k n by n substituting all the terms and expanding it further we get final answer as 1.527 e raised to minus j 0.395 pi e raised to j omega not n plus 1.527 e raised to j 0.395 pi e raised to j 2 omega not n the frequency spectrum has two components that is magnitude and phase spectrum the magnitude spectrum is obtained from the magnitude of ck so ck is equal to 0 comma 1.527 pi comma 1.527 angle 0.395 pi so the for magnitude spectrum 
that is mod of ck we get 0 comma 1.527 comma again 1.527 for the phase spectrum we should calculate the angle of ck that is 0 comma 0.3955 pi. Therefore, both the spectrum are periodic with a period that is n is equal to 3. Thus, we plot the magnitude and the phase spectrum accordingly. These are the magnitude and the phase plot. They are plotted accordingly. For the value of 0, the magnitude is 0. For the value of 1 and 2, the magnitude is 1.527. Similarly, for angle that is to plot the phase plot, for 0 it is 0. For the first term that is 1 is minus 0 0.395 pi and the second that is 2 0.395 pi. So we have seen the frequency spectrum of x of n. Thank you.